want to just sit in the box or do you want to do some embroidery? <laughs> It's Ashley here from One Stitch After Another and welcome to day 17 of Vlogmas here. I cannot believe we are all eight days until the big day and I'm a little bit more sorted. I have written my first couple of Christmas cards. I'm not sending many this year. I haven't even made a Christmas card. I am going to make a couple um, perhaps later this week. Um, and I've wrapped my first presents and they've been delivered. Yes, there's still a shocking amount of things to do here, including decorating the Christmas tree. Did I tell you the saga of the Christmas tree? It's fallen over twice. We had to de-dress it, so it's been sat nude for ages. And yes, I'm going to attempt to dress it again when I've got off from you guys. Um, in looking through all of our boxes of Christmas ornaments that are up in the loft, um, we hadn't brought down this fellow now he was one of the first toys that I made and he wasn't stuffed very well and I can't remember what I put in the bottom but it's all clumped together in a clump. This is a pattern from Rowan and I need to find what it is but I call this guy Gordon and it's knitted in Rowan, looks like it's Rowan felted tweed, no it's not. The, the red is Rowan felted tweed but the little bit of this and the little bit of that feel like they've got alpaca in them yeah and I didn't know what I was doing I didn't yeah quite a nice little bit of embroidery there which bodes well for me finishing off Mr Knightley I'm doing all right with my Arna and Carlos um stocking I'm going to show you that another day but yes Gordon will sit on our uh, half so you might see him but yeah, he needs a bit of remedial work, doesn't he? And yeah, he looks very sad. It's very soft, but yeah, his bottom's all, yeah, clumped up. And I don't know what I, I don't know what I put, whatever this is. It feels like it could be rice, actually. I don't know. But I would use pellets now. Now I know better. And then I made these a long time ago. And seeing that little carrot there, I think that's what I've got to do for Mr Knightley. I've got to knit him a nose. I'm a couple of clues behind, uh, but I'm hoping to catch up when I've done some jobs today. So I've got to find a little place for him to sit. I sold a whole load of these at um, a craft fair. Look, that's not very good. These little things coming undone there. It could be that Blue's had a go at it. Um, yeah, and look. The whip stitching on that's not very good, is it? Again, I know better now. Um, and sinking the eyes in, I know better. The white or the cream is just cheap, cheap acrylic yarn with a bit of spark in it. But that comes out of this pattern. No, this pattern comes out of this book. I'm just looking at my, oh, I'm just looking at my tree out in front. There's quite a lot of birds on it again since I've put bird feeders on there. It's really nice to see, but there's a couple of blue tits have just had a bit of a fight. Two dominant males, I think. Anyway, this book, I don't think it's in print anymore. Sue Stratford, I've met her a couple of times. She used to run a shop called The Knitting Hut somewhere in Buckinghamshire. I'm gonna have to do a Google search to see if it's still open. I hope it is, because it was a really sweet little shop, but there are so many lovely little uh, mini Christmas knits in here. That robin is rather nice. 
might make one of them for my mother-in-law for next year there's an owl there's a deer um you can pick this little book up um on amazon second hand um it was 4.99 originally yes but sadly it's out of print but there's a couple of people selling it on amazon and other places but i just thought i'd show you that what else do i need to talk about oh yes we have our little parcel to open don't we december the 17th and it's the extract from the story so yes i had a very busy long day yesterday starting off with a ct scan at 20 past eight in the morning going then we came home and had a little bit of breakfast because i wasn't allowed to eat beforehand um what else can i tell you yeah then we went over to my dad took him to see my mum and ah, uh, if you don't know my mum's in a nursing home and i haven't seen her out of bed sitting in a chair since august so this was a major major thing for me and the floor that she lives on it was their christmas party so they got them those that were able um they've got them out of bed and they were in the lounge watching telly and they'd all got little hats on with little dealy bopper things mum's kept falling off but they were going to have food and drink and uh, uh, do games and things so that was nice then we went back to my dad's and my husband did a job for my dad then um oh he's he's got two p in his bottom to make him sit up straight um and then we went into birmingham and had some lunch had a little mooch around the shops and then we went to see madness and we got home at about 10 past midnight absolutely shattered and i'd been awake since five so yeah i'm afraid no makeup today um yes anyway oh i've got another tea sweet rhubarb that looks nice doesn't it let's do the story i'm so excited to um decorate my tree in a minute it's fallen over twice and we've had to take everything off it i think we've solved the problem I might have said this already i've got no idea i'm exhausted <laughs> oh dearie me um thank you to the three of you that might be watching i do value you very much anyway december the 17th story here we go ah oh, hetty the hedgehog was feeling very sleepy just like me the milder weather they had been having meant that she had decided to stay awake a little longer she had wanted to be involved with the performance and had been given the role of chief prompt However, staying awake was becoming a problem and prompting was a little difficult when she couldn't keep her eyes open. A few of the performers had noticed and had called a meeting. Angus took Hetty's tiny paw in his large one. Angus is the badger, remember. They were unlikely friends, maybe, but in truth, they spent a lot of time together. In the woodland of an evening, along with Charlie, the handsome fox came and joined them. We have an idea. Hetty had been dreading this. They were going to take her job away from her. We think you should... We should tuck you up with a few snacks and that you should have a week's sleep. We'll come along and wake you on Christmas Eve because we need you to remind us all of our words that evening. There will be a lot of nerves. Hetty squeezed Angus's hand and blinked up at Charlie. Tears were in her eyes. Oh, thank you, she whispered. That sounds like a wonderful idea. The little trio hugged with Angie, with Angus and Charlie taking extra care of Hetty's prickles. A little ripple of glee went round the group nearby. Their plan had worked and they were feeling rather pleased with themselves. So Hetty's going for a little hibernate. And then this is the quote from A Christmas Carol. They drew about the fire and talked, the girls and mother working still. Bob told them of the extraordinary kindness of Mr Scrooge's nephew, whom he had scarcely seen but once. Right, well, let's open the yarn. And then I've just heard my washing machine beep. I've got another load to put in. I've got to unload the dishwasher. I've got jobby jobs to do. But I'm hoping that early evening, I'm going to have a bath. I'm going to put another treatment on my hair. Gonna have a bit of a pamper. Gonna spend the evening knitting. Mr. Paper and Twine and Mr. One Stitch after another is he's the same person, but he's got two names. Um, he's cooking dinner tonight. Oh, 
so looking forward to it. Ooh, this is lovely. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to see all of these together. So with that being said, I am going to go and unload my dishwasher, put the next load of washing on, um, make myself a cup of tea and decorate the tree. I'll be back tomorrow with a little bit of intro footage of um, my time in Birmingham yesterday and um, I'll hopefully be a little bit more coherent tomorrow and I've been ages already so thank you so much for putting up with me for another day. I really do um, value um, your choosing to watch this stupid little vlog. Um, there are hundreds to choose from, people who are much more engaging and um, delightful than me so I do appreciate you very much. I'll be back tomorrow. Take care. Bye now. Oh no! Pattern of the day. Oh, dearie, dearie me. You thought you were going then, or you thought I was going. No. Today's pattern of the day. I'm so not with it. I'm really sorry. I love this. I couldn't resist this sheep. So it is Celtic sheep stocking. Let me just zoom in on it a bit more. It's by Darlene Swain and it costs five US dollars so cute so cute and this is um part of a set there are three in the set so you could do coordinating things and mix and match the patterns if i show you this you can see there's an owl and a stag i'll leave the link in the description box um this is a nice picture with a snowflake and baubles and i like the kind of um, the check here on this one so I will leave a link in the description box I really am going there do take care bye now